Pharma Ventures, experts in deals and alliances. Welcome to Pharma Ventures Insights at Biotech and Money 2016 in London. Today we have with us Ian Chan, CEO, and Adam Mostafa, CFO from Avro, based in Boston. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right, us. so Avro, what is Avro and what do you do? So Avro, we're a synthetic biology company. We found a way to make uh, antibodies against traditionally difficult targets much faster. And we have a platform that allows us to create these at industry-leading industry speeds. When you say much faster, how fast really is it? So traditionally antibodies, they're really made by hand in the industry. So they can take on average about a year. With our process and the technology platform, we've reduced it down to about a month and a half. So antibodies are used in many different applications, right, in the industry. It could be used in research, for therapeutics. Is there a particular target or a sector that you're looking at? Yeah, so the antibodies are definitely very broad. They're, they fit into almost all areas of life sciences. We're focused uh, primarily in therapeutics right now. So we have two main areas that we're focused on. One of the areas is called immuno-oncology. So that's using antibodies to stimulate your natural immune system to fight disease, uh, mainly oncology. The other area that we focus on is the eye care space, ophthalmology. And antibodies can be used to treat a wide range of uh, eye diseases as well. And you have a lot of partners working with you. We, we do have, we're, we're, we are fortunate to be working with a large variety of leading biotechs and also pharmaceutical companies. They yeah, include, so we, we generate antibodies for them and for their pipelines. Uh, and then we also generate antibodies for our own pipeline uh, and our own therapeutic purposes. So across both, we're uh, quite active. And what sort of clinical stage are these antibodies at that you're currently producing? So they'll be in phase one. Uh, we're filing INDs right now, so we'll be in phase one shortly. Uh, so we'll have some uh, clinical data in the near term. Uh, so we're definitely transitioning into that clinical enterprise. And um, in terms of investment, because when you have a lot of activities, which you guys have, yes. um, you need a lot of capital, especially in the, in the area of biotech. So yeah. how have you been funding yourselves and what's your plan for the future in terms of investment? Sure. So we have some institutional investors who've been very supportive in the past and, and now. Uh, we also have non-dilutive capital that comes in from the partnerships we're talking about. Uh, our plans going forward are to continue to work with top quality healthcare institutions globally, uh, bring in capital to fund our clinical pipeline uh, and continue our partnership activity. Uh, at some point in the future, we're also positioning ourselves to be a public enterprise uh, and access public capital as well uh, and kind of take ourselves to the next, uh, the next stage. So, um, but so far we're well positioned financially. Uh, we don't have a very high burden for a biotech given our non-dilutive partnerships. Uh, and we have a lot of exciting programs that we are looking forward to funding. Earlier this year, you've um, announced that you'll be working with two Boston hospitals. Yes. Um, right. How has that gone, and where are you now with that? It's, it's going great. So we, we've been able to form strategic partnerships with Mass General, which is one of the leading uh, hospitals uh, in the U.S., also the Brigham and Women's Hospital. So these are really key opinion leaders in their fields. One of them is a... Is a uh, cystic fibrosis focus. Uh, in fact, some, some of the, the top doctors uh, from Mass General uh, we're collaborating with right now. And the other one is, is a very interesting one in the autoimmunity space. So these are going extremely well right now. Yeah, no, it's one of the benefits of being in the Boston area is we can tap into this network of really brain power in, in biology. Uh, and then we have the platform and the know-how to leverage that into things that are clinically actionable and go after targets for ourselves and for our partners. So, uh, yeah, being in that area has been a great asset. Immuno-oncology is a huge area, and there are a lot of players in, in the field these days. How do you plan to make sales of your products? Are you, are you want, looking to partner with different companies in different territories? Yeah, that would be one of the strategies that we can use. So, uh, right now, we're, we're well positioned on the front end, making the molecules, moving them through the clinic. At, at the right time, we will be looking for a commercialization partner uh, as, as the molecules move deeper into the clinic. So, uh, folks that have the know-how and reach to be able to get the product to their patients. So that's, and that, you know, oncology is obviously very big. So at some point, whether it's geographically or otherwise, you're going to want to work with, you know, bigger companies and other areas like I care where we have some programs that might be more manageable uh, ourselves. Uh, and so we're kind of balancing the two. It's interesting to see such a 
well, relatively early stage company, biotech company, to have diversified their indications based on one platform. That's really exciting. As the leaders of the company, what are your visions going forward for APRA? Yeah, well, the overall mission of, of the company is to bring novel therapeutics to improve the quality of life for patients uh, around the globe. And having a platform, it really positions the company to pursue some of the uh, most major diseases that affect mankind right now. So the overall goal is to, to bring at least two of these, two patients over the next 10 years um, into uh, directly to the patient to treat them. And in, in these two areas, immuno-oncology and also ophthalmology. And then beyond that, we, we can we see potentially branching out into other, other areas as well. It could be autoimmunity, cystic fibrosis, and numerous other areas. Yeah. Adam? Yeah. Well, I think just, um, you know, we have uh, a great engine at our fingertips, and so leveraging it for patients in the long run is uh, the key driver in the company. I think that's the mission. There's a lot of ways to do that. We're going to have to be tactical and strategic about it, but there's a lot of upside uh, in doing that, and, and I think we can address a lot of disease states uh, through partnership and through ourselves for, for patients, and so that would be the long-term, I think, vision of the company, and along the way, obviously, we'll try to be um, economically attractive for folks and, uh, and an enterprise that helps, uh, helps, you know, helps people get better. And what brought you to Biotech and Money? What was the main purpose of this trip? Uh, so, yeah, we're here to meet and build relationships. Uh, we have an exciting company, and we want people to know about that uh, and know that we are on a track to help patients. And if they'd like to play a role in that, financially or otherwise, we'd love to talk. Yeah, we also, you know, biotech's a global game now. So we, we're finding that there's there are great people who support the industry around the globe. Uh, certainly U.S., Europe, London's a fantastic city. Uh, we're finding that just building bridges and relationships globally can help the enterprise overall. It looks like you're on a very exciting journey with a great company. So wish you all the best and thank you very much for your time. Today. Sure, thank okay. you, Summer. Well, thank you. Pharma Ventures, experts in deals and alliances.